Jason Baba Boy is mine. Er, heart. I honestly think she just found that talented person's edit and just called it Jason Derulo. Even though it's probably the person's OC or something. Hey guys, what's up? It's Eternal, and today we are going to be watching and reacting to some more gotcha cringe. I don't know what number we're on of this gotcha cringe TikTok series. As usual, we're going to first watch some gotcha cringe TikToks, and then we're going to look at some good gotcha TikToks to show that not all gotcha is cringe and bad, because people tend to think that, and I don't understand why. Gotcha is very much just a program to make stories and make characters. A lot of these I found from being tagged in, so if you want to submit one to me, just tag me in the comments at Big Mama Eternal with three L's. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this. You can't get rid of me, bitch. This first one, okay, I do have to say, I think that this is a trend, but it's how this person did the trend that's kind of strange. So let's watch. Okay, why did the little gotcha guys become big buff boys? <laughs> like, why did they look like that? And the, it honestly looks like they just traced like a buff guy and then just put the gotcha heads on it. Like, so I do have to say the girl gotcha character does not look that bad. It's the guys. Can someone explain to me this trend in the comments of like why the characters just grow to like normal looking proportions from like gotcha proportions? This next one is a very weird My Hero Academia fangirl once again, and there's a lot of those in TikTok gotcha for some reason. This one is one of the weirder ones that I've seen, so let's watch. Dance F you hat me. Nice moves. <laughs> <gasps> I think this TikTok was made with the intention that someone was gonna do edit. Dance F you hat me. You better stop! <laughs> and then Toadi Roki came out <laughs> and was fighting for the fangirl. I think the fangirl is taken by Toadi Roki, guys. They didn't even spell Todoroki right. This fangirl needs Grammarly. But this fangirl's really funny. Like, I went to her profile and let's just look at her profile. Gotcha softy? Emily. My name's Emily and I'm bye. That just reminded me of that song. 96 years old? Dang, I think you're too old for Todoroki. Singel. Quen of TikTok? Oh my god, that's just beautiful. So something I discovered by going through her profile is not only does she have an obsession with Todoroki, she also weirdly has an obsession with Jason Derulo. And um, I can't make this up. Jason Derulo. Um, I don't even know what to say about this. Okay, let's watch. Let's just appreciate the fact that this fangirl has such obscure crushes. Like, cause normally fangirls, you know, you would expect her to have a crush on Todoroki. No, she has a crush on Jason Derulo. Okay, let's watch the next Jason Derulo gotcha video. I never thought that I'd be saying, that's so random. Okay, the fact that she's reacting to such a good edit and then she captions it, Jason Baba Boy is mine, er, heart. Like, that doesn't even look like Jason Derulo. If you're referencing off a of furry Jason Derulo from the Cats movie, that still doesn't look like Jason Derulo, but, um. I honestly think she just found that talented person's edit and just called it Jason Derulo. Even though it's probably the person's OC or something. Okay, so apparently she has a voice reveal so let's listen to it. Look, rebel new simping boys. Um, was that Donald Duck? New Sempeng. I don't think anyone will be Sempeng. I also found some miraculous videos on her profile, so let's look at those. Where is Milady? 
<gasps> okay, I love how she didn't bother to change his name to Cat Noir from Adrian, so you're kind of just exposing his secret identity. Also, why did Ladybug just grow? And why is Ladybug's name Lozar? I have so many questions, but let's watch the next one. Right off the bat, why is Marinette named Luzar? <laughs> That's so mean! Marinette's my favorite character! Oh my god, okay. Oh, he's gonna propose! What the heck? Why is Lila here? Bruh! This is what I say, Lila always messes up everything, even in gotcha cringe TikToks. What? What the heck is- how is this? Is this supposed to be Hawk Moth? I'm so confused. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be someone else, but like I'm so confused why this random man appeared. Like he's so random. All right, so now that we're done looking at Jason Derulo lover, I actually ended up finding something really weird on my For You page, which is a Gotcha Live theme song. But the whole Gotcha community even thinks this song is cringe, so let's take a listen. Welcome to Gotcha Live, there's so much to see. If people can make characters, then so can we. Okay, now listen. I all here for gotcha songs and this song is not that bad like the lyrics are fine it's just the part where it's like <laughs> because so many people don't know what she's saying right there welcome to gotcha live there's so much to see <laughs> like everyone's quite confused i mean i think it's if people can make characters then so can we and i even found someone made a <laughs> long john silvers version this has nothing to do with gotcha but they Use this song, y'all need to see this. Welcome to Gotcha Live, there's so much to see. If people can make characters, then so can we. We have puppies, shrimps. Okay, that video is mad funny. I don't know. I die laughing because it, it fits. Someone make a Long John Silver's gotcha fan account. And then you know how people make the shrimp gotcha? Like the shrimp gotcha can be mad about the Long John Silver gotcha because they're cooking them. <laughs> Oh my god. This next one it doesn't even need explaining. Let's watch. Who took down Gavacha Heat Whammer T? Vote Britney Spears Aurora Presidente? Um, okay, so I think that this is a gotcha heater who got mad that gotcha heat is no longer on TikTok and uh, yeah, so they're mad it got taken off TikTok. And for some reason, I think we skipped a chapter or something because how did we go from they're upset about that to vote Britney Spears Roar Presidente? Why do no gotcha heaters ever know how to spell? They all just need Grammarly. Us in the gotcha cooler gang, we all know how to spell. This next video, you're just gonna have to watch. My backup boyfriend is not that. I'll prove it. <gasps> How many times do I have to tell you, gotcha editors, do not draw Eggo waffles on the little gotcha characters. Don't do it. They don't need Eggo waffles on them. Y'all all need to cool it on the blush and the red. This one just scribbled red everywhere. It wasn't even blush at this point. This next one just proves how broken my sense of humor is. Okay, tell me why when I saw this, I busted out laughing. I think the gotcha theme song is hilarious for some reason. Like just the da 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 da, I don't know. And then they put default voice. I love this. Guys in the comments, tell me if you also laughed at this because I want to know if I'm the only one that thought that this I probably am the only one that thinks that this is funny. All right, so the next one is pretty funny too, except it's like actually funny. It's not just funny because the music. All right, let's watch. Five reasons why I can Bakugo. We like to beat up people. I, what is that noise? Is that a rat? Wait, it kind of sounds like that one person's voice reveal that we listened to earlier. Donald Duck? We are both alphas. We both have a cute uwu love. We both hate Timmy. We are both pretty. Oh my god. Why did they make Bakugo look like that? They made him look like a little uwu cat. Please. Uh, I don't even know what to say about this. This is just um nice. All right, so now we're on to everyone's favorite part of the video where we react to some good gotchas. 
Now, these first two are fan-made, and, you know, I gotta show some love and appreciation for my fans, so let's watch them! I love how the concept of this is really simple and really cool, and I also love my character design here. This is awesome. Oh no! How do you sleep with your door open? Aren't you afraid a demon could be watching you? You fool! You absolute swine! I'm the one watching the de- I love how funny and creative this one is. I also love how they included the famous quote by Walter. Goopy poopy Walter. This captures Walter's essence so well because Walter is so creepy that he out creeps the Awu cats. And that's hard to do. Alright, so this last one is miraculous based, but you guys know how much I hate Lila. Well, this one's actually pretty wholesome and portrays her in a different light. So maybe after watching this, I'll like Lila. Let's watch. Put your hand up if you're beautiful. Oh, that was a wholesome moment we all needed today after seeing all of this gotcha cringe. I honestly feel like if they made Lila act like this in the show, I would really, really like her. Alright guys, anyways guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Subscribe, become part of the Cooler Gang, and I will see all of you Cooler Gang in the next Gotcha Life TikTok video. Comment what you want to see next. Peace, y'all. Then so can we. That song is stuck in my head.